Mr. Arnaud, uh, for two minutes uh, on behalf of EFDD. Please go ahead, sir. Thank you, Mr. President. I've met Venezuelan citizens, refugees from the Maduro regime, a country which should be prosperous, but whose inflation rate is over 100,000% or 10 million percent, because, frankly, you can't even measure it when it gets to the stage that it's got. People literally starving because of food shortages caused by the Maduro government. Millions of people have fled Venezuela. Dissidents are jailed. When 40 people are dead, 800 people seriously injured in protests. When the leader of the opposition is banned from leaving the country and has his assets frozen. This is an unprecedented humanitarian crisis in South America. And quite frankly, all our governments should be working together with, uh, on this. Left wing, right wing, centrists, I don't care. Either you believe in democracy or you don't believe in democracy. And when Maduro is saying today that they can have presidential elections in 2025, those who side with Maduro are siding with tyrants and dictatorship. And it is a source of shame for the UK, Mr. President, that I see the Shadow Chancellor in the UK signing a letter speaking out against regime change in Venezuela that Jeremy Corbyn, who has many times hailed Venezuela as a beacon of socialism, does nothing and leaves his previous support for that regime unchallenged. The, the international community really should be united on this. I'll finish, Mr. President, in Spanish. Maduro no es un presidente legítimo. Es un tirano. Y hay que cambiar el régimen en Venezuela. Ingleses, españoles, americanos, Europeos, debemos todos reconocer la verdad. La solución es la democracia. Thank you, colleague.